Okay, so a batter hits a ball down the third base line at 90 feet per second. Then he runs towards first beat base at 30 feet per second. What is the rate of change of the distance between the runner and the ball when the runner is 30 feet down the first base line? Let's assume it's a right triangle. So x equals 30 and y equals 90. We need to take the derivative of our original equation. So the derivative of z squared equals x squared plus y squared is 2z dz dt equals 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt and we can cancel all the twos out so it would be z dz dt equals x dx dt plus y dy dt now since we know what z equals since x equals 30 and y equals 90, z equals the square root of 30 squared plus 90 squared. So z times dz over dt equals 30 squared plus 90 squared. So substitute in for z, uh, z equals the square root of 30 squared plus 90 squared, and then multiply that by dz dt, and that equals 30 squared plus 90 squared. So divide by z and you get dz over dt equals 30 squared plus 90 squared over the square root of 30 squared plus 90 squared and when we simplify that out and plug it into our calculator we get 94.86 feet per second at time equals 1. Second problem this is a continuation of the first one but now we're going to say what is the rate of at which the distance between the batter and second base is decreasing when the batter is halfway down the first base line? So we're going to ignore where the ball is, and when the batter is halfway down the first base line, find the rate of change and his distance decreasing from second base. Okay, so again, we're going to have x equal the distance from home to where he is, and then 90 minus x the distance from first base to where he's standing and the base path is 90 feet long so x equals 45 because he's halfway down the line the right angle is going to be at first base right, here we go. to find y we're going to need to square both sides of the triangle so y squared equals 90 squared plus the parentheses 90 minus x parentheses squared so y equals the square root of 90 squared plus parentheses 90 minus x parentheses squared. And then we have to derive that. So when we derive that we get 2y times dy dt equals 0 plus 2 parentheses 90 minus x parentheses times negative 1 times dx dt. dy dt equals negative 2 parentheses 90 minus x parenthesis times dx dt over 2y. Now dy d over dt equals negative parenthesis 90 minus x parenthesis times dx dt over y. And since we know what y is, we can substitute y in and simplify the equation. So dy dt equals negative parenthesis 90 minus 45 parenthesis times 30 over the square root of 90 squared plus parenthesis 90 minus 45 parentheses squared and that equals out to negative 13.416 feet per second.